Shalom, shalom. Baruch Hashem, in my uh, quest to study the deep antiquity of our oral tradition, um, at this stage in my Samaritan studies, um, I have uh, learned actually quite quickly to read their kitab, their writing, their script, and because uh, Baruch Hashem, I can read Paleo Hebrew, and we're very blessed in our Beit Midrash to actually have a uh, publication of all of the fragments of an incredible, incredible scroll that was found in Qumran among the Dead Sea Scrolls. It is a Paleo Leviticus uh, homash. And uh, what's incredible about it is that it is proto Masoretic, which means it basically belongs to our proto rabbinical Judean, very Jewish tradition. And yet, it is in Paleo Hebrew. Now, what's amazing about it is that it is only 2,200 years old. Now, that's no tongue-in-cheek, because this is already centuries after Ezra HaSofer, Ezra the scribe, lived and passed from the world. So this really blows away this uh, myth that many people have, that from the time of Ezra HaSofer, um, the, the, the Jews, we in Judea, basically, essentially, um, stopped writing in a Paleo-Hebrew, and we're only writing in Ketav Ashuri, such as our, which is the beautiful script that today our, our, our Torah scrolls are written in. Um, in fact, um, we were still writing in Paleo-Hebrew uh, as recently as 2200 years ago, which is, when the which is the estimated age of this scroll. So let's take a look at it. So what we're looking at right now is in Wa'iqra, in Leviticus, um, Pasuk uh, Ku Yat, which is uh, 2619. And this says it very, very clearly, clearly, Wa'shovarti ath go'on u'zacham, wa'nothati shamecham kabbarzal, wa'ath, wa'ath arsacham, there's the mem. Kanuhusho. Um, notice how the original taf, or as we say to, uh, was it t look, looks like a T. Um, you can see how the shin looks like a W. You can see how the lamad looks similar to a cursive Hebrew lamad of our day. Uh, this is Paleo Hebrew. This is Kathab Ivri or Kathab Da'atz. Uh, in the uh, language of the sages of Chazal. So, um, and now we're going to take a look at the Shabbat bulletin of this last Shabbat um, that uh, was posted on the Facebook page of my friend Ben Sadaka of the, um, of the uh, community of the Samaritans. This is their Shabbat bulletin. And it says here very clearly, Hayom Ba'erev Niftah Yom HaShabbat HaShadishi Bechodesh HaEchad Asar Which means today, in the evening, we open or we begin the Shabbat day, the third Shabbat day, okay, um, of the 11th month, okay, in the 11th month. Remember, okay, that um, uh, according to the ancient Torah tradition, we're supposed to call the months ideally, uh, month one, month two, month three, starting from uh, Pesach, right? Start, excuse me, starting from the Rosh Chodesh of Nisan, which is the month that Passover falls into, right? So now everybody knows that we're coming slowly, slowly uh, 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 towards Adar and then into Nisan. We're at the end of the year, so we're in the 11th month. That's what they call uh, um, our, day, our month that we're in right now. Chodesh HaEchad Asar. Right, and uh, and then then that, now they're going to count from the time that we came into the land according to their to their tradition. Shanaf, shaloshath alofim, washesh meoth, washesh, wa hamishim, lamershov, bene Yisroel, baaretz Yisroel, gavulotha haviv which means 
um, 3,600 um, and 6 and 50, meaning uh, 56, okay, which means, again, 3,666 um, years. Lemoshav uh, ben Israel of the dwelling of the Israelites, the Bnei Israel, in the land of Israel, Gavulothea uh, Haviv, its beloved borders.